Hi, my name is Christina Morrison, and I'm an Intuit Certified Pro Advisor. I specialize in QuickBooks Point of Sale. Modern Secretary provides free trials and can facilitate demos. We offer customized service packages to meet your setup, training, and support needs. Before we begin learning how to spell a gift certificate in Point of Sale, I want to point out that I'm working in Point of Sale 2013 multi-store version, and I'm also logged in as the sysadmin. These operations will work in the Point of Sale 2013 Pro version as well. We'll need to make sure, in order to spell gift certificates, that we have the option turned on. So we're going to start in the File menu, scroll down to Preferences, and choose Company. In the left-hand column, we're going to scroll down to Sales and choose Receipt Tendering. We want to make sure that Gift Certificate, and if we're using gift cards at a later time, this would be the same place to turn that on, but we're going to make sure that Gift Certificate is selected and choose Save. From here, we can go straight to the Make a Sale um, screen and go down and look for the new gift tag that's been included in your tendering uh, options at the bottom. I'll choose gift and I can see that gift certificate is available for me and I'm going to start by choosing what I'm doing with this gift certificate. Am I redeeming it or am I going to sell it? And to begin with we're going to go ahead and sell our first certificate. The person is requesting an amount of $50 and we're going to choose the gift certificate number right off of your gift certificate and save. And now my gift certificate has been added to the basket and I have an amount due. It's a non-taxable item. Later at redemption, the actual articles themselves will be taxed. So we aren't double taxing here. One of the important things is if you choose to add a customer, now would be the time to do that. And then you'll choose which method of payment they're going to use to pay you. So in my case, Jordan is going to pay me with cash. I'm going to accept her $50 bill and I will save and print. Now there's one quick thing here. If you'd like to print a gift receipt for Jordan to give along with this gift certificate, you will check that option right here and print a gift receipt. You can preview it at this time or simply go straight to the print button. So here is my pre-printed gift receipt. It actually is showing you in a different screen than you might be similar to. And now I'll print my gift receipt. And you can see that none of the information about the item or the value is on here but this would be the same type of information that would be printed out on any sale that you made if they were giving the item as a gift and requested a gift receipt. Whether or not you have email option turned on and your progress has been saved. So if we went to home and viewed our sales history, we could, re we could identify that we had sold a $50 gift receipt here to Jordan. So I now have made a complete sale in selling a gift receipt in QuickBooks Point of Sale. Modern Secretary offers training and support packages starting at just $99. Check our website for additional training videos, upcoming webinar events, or more information about our current products and services. You can also email us at support at modernsecretary.com. We would love the opportunity to facilitate your next software purchase. Please visit our website and use our easy shopping cart to purchase software. If you have questions about which version is right for you, please call one of our enthusiastic representatives with your questions or email us at sales at modernsecretary.com. If you found this video helpful, please write a review or like us on Facebook. 